please notify me when you post i need help urgently i'll be reading the comments i am a man aged 30 our target are women we will flash cash then go with them to our place i am assigned to destroy lives by our marine goddess i joined the cult after using a board lotion written super majestic it was in a lamb green container those days my ex-girlfriend brought it for me as a birthday present. I met the girl on one school's holiday after she visited her relatives whom we stayed in the same neighborhood with. She was so a quiet person. You can't suspect any negativity attitude from such a quiet person. I approached for love. Before end of the holiday, we started dating. She went back to her home, but we continued dating and chatting over the phone. We spent almost five months without seeing each other, but only talking over the phone on her birthday i sent presents via the relatives 21 february is my birthday like what i did the girls sent me presents via the relatives again inside the box there was a watch necklace and the lotion which has changed my life soon after using the lotion i started to feel the smell of blood everywhere i have that feeling of want to kill the next night i dreamed me and other people in the ocean i appeared before the goddess she gave me a book with all rules and the missions i should complete to be promoted to the next level the missions are as follows i should kill at least a single person a week another new member should join through me at least once a month so i was given so many bottles of that lotion the lotion just appeared in my room so since then I have killed many girlfriends. I will pretend as if I am deeply in love. When we are at a lonely place, I will bite her neck, then start to drink the blood. If I don't have a girlfriend at that time, I want to sacrifice someone. I go to the commercial sex workers, walk into my car, and then dump the body at a forest. Many people have joined through me. I buy popular brands in bulk mix the lotions with our evil oil then sell the lotions at a wholesale price a lot of men have joined the cult recently i tried to kill this other girl who is protected by a powerful force than ours as i tried to bite her that force attacked our shrine leading to the death of our queen's favorite daughter this angered the queen and the whole shrine they have turned against me they polarized my body. Now don't even manage to go to the toilet on my own. I can't eat on my own. Please help me with advices. I want to repent before I die. Please help me. I need help. My wife and I are young couples. We are having one child somewhere 2020 during the covering time. Things became very difficult for me so I couldn't perform my responsibility well as a man and the kind of treatment my wife and my mother-in-law gave during that difficult time made me felt very useless and i almost committed suicide anytime i try to have something with my wife then she'll start giving excuses and whenever there is misunderstanding among us that is when she'll start reminding me of how she is paying for electricity water and our rent even tells me I am becoming a burden because common clothes I can't buy for our child. During that time, in the process of searching for a job, I met a lady who was very good, even gives me pocket money sometimes. And though yeah, I got my current job through him, labor of love. Now things are going very well for me and I have even rented a shop for the lady who held me when I was down. I am even building a house which my wife doesn't know anything about. I have developed some strong hatred towards my wife and I don't feel anything for her anymore. And I want to let go of her. Am I wrong? Please hide my identity. I met this guy in town in December. He got my username and we started talking on Facebook. I asked him if... He was married or not but he said he wasn't and he has no child he showed me love and attention he works from congo so he had been in congo from january to the 3rd of may he wanted to meet me right after he came back to zambia fast forward we meet in town and he was with his two friends 
We brought food and drinks and then he took me to a hotel where he left with his friends drinking and bar and he took me to a room. At first I didn't know where we were going. We entered the room and he asked me to sleep with him. I tried to refuse but he insisted and I agreed. After that he promised to give me money to start up a business of my choice and he you give me the money by next week. I have been trying to contact him but he doesn't pick up my calls and he hardly reply to my text message. I started looking for his true identity and I found out that he is married with a child and he stays here in Kabwe but works in Congo. Please help me. What should I do? Should I report him? Hello guys, I'm using my phone with my boyfriend. He doesn't have a phone so every time when he is out with friends, you come with photos and numbers for girls. So that hurts me badly. Secondly, the guy doesn't show love. I am in a loveless relationship. When he talks his words, he hurt me. He likes to criticize my looks, my body. He is not happy. I told him to separate with me. We separated only two weeks. I am frustrated. I feel lonely and angry at myself. I don't want to cheat. I nearly died for cheating. No insults, please. Yellow solution, uncle. Please hide my identity when you publish. I am that girl who is HIV who doesn't disclose his status to your boyfriend. I want to tell you guys that I did take your advices and thank you for giving me great advices. I did tell you and he was fine and even applauded me and telling me how not many girls can be open about their status. So we went to clinic since I know my status. I accompanied him to the clinic. He tested and he was negative. Looking at his reaction, I could tell he was scared. Then we were told on how we can have healthy sexual lifestyle and on how we can have sex and he can remain negative on how if I want to be with the children with him. First night we had sex and guess what he blocked me everywhere. The following morning I am kinda disappointed and he been talking to his friends and his friends told me that he said he don't want to be infected since he was uh, raw sex. I've decided to put Mujolo on hold a bit and try to understand myself more. We'll buy did laws and just live a positive lifestyle and his friend has been a very good ear and no i don't want him but he's kind of helping me deal with this so thank you guys i guess you can't die for being single yellow solution uncle please hide my identity when you publish i'll be so glad if you publish this story of mine I tried so many platforms but I have not yet received the answer. I am looking for my father. My father is the one who has this photo. My mother gave me this picture. She says this is my father. She didn't tell me all the details though. She says he's a closer. His name is Sogiba and don't know his name cause she only told me the surname. I need help guys. If anyone knows who this man is or where he is staying please mention in the comment section below this is agent admin solution uncle please make this message of me reach to the public yes guys that's our sister looking for your father let's us all share this uh, message to whatsapp groups and uh, everywhere so that Everything will be okay for our sister who is looking for your father. Uh, my sister, I will be with you. I will include you in my prayers. Also, guys, let's pray for this sister of us to find your father. Firstly and foremost, I would like to thank everyone who confessed. Guys, thank you so much for sharing your stories with us. We are learning here. Uh, on extra on Africa, we are learning. Uh, in life, we learn from other people's mistakes. Sometimes, sometimes we learn from our own mistakes. So that's a great job you are doing, guys, uh, for sharing uh, your lifetime experiences with us. And will be a learning. Will be a learning. 
and there was this first confession um uh, my sister my brother you are assigned at this evil triple six underground group i still remember some days ago there was a similar confession the person ended up threatening a solution uncle and uh, dr nish uh, brother nish saying you guys you won't go anyway i'm not sure you are not part of that crew anyway my brother it's very simple i'm not here to judge god is for everyone look at what saw who later became poor he was a murderer in the beginning he was that one of those people who in who in community to say this person is is a bad person but he repented god wanted to show the world uh his powers by turning so into paul and became a very god-fearing man one of the greatest apostles of those years and how is it impossible to you my brother god can still use you repent start fasting and praying then you need to pay back by preaching the word walk in the streets praying teaching the people the gospel of god yes you can you can still follow the the footsteps of paul so you see there's nothing much uh, get me right guys i'm not saying there's nothing much uh, by killing people ah uh, that's bad that's bad my brother i don't want to hide that's bad but god can still forgive you repent or atly start fasting and praying fast for one day if it's not working fast for two days if it's not working fast for three days if it's not working fast for five days if it's not working fast for many days till your problem is solved finish that's it also guys listeners i would like to urge you to do this please please my fans i don't want to lose any one of you i don't want to lose any one of you these days the devil is at work he is attacking us left right and center he's trying he's just waiting for us to relax so that he can attack us so we need to pray i will repeat it it's like repetition but i will repeat it we need to pray each and every day we need to pray we need to pray 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 and pray god will set us free god will surely set us free and that was uh, african confessions right here on extraordinary africa with your host solution uncle i will leave you listening to this important message also guys there is this sister of us from canada sister gloria may god bless you may god bless you he donated the food for that guy who is working on legs i'll be presenting and i'll be i'll be presenting and upload the video uh when we'll be pre, um, presenting the the donations uh, sister gloria i hope you are ready to feature so that uh, our friends can know you may god bless you my sister may god bless you and family may god bless you i don't i don't know how to thank you also queen sheba how are you your nephew is fine thank you so much guys continue enjoying your day let's meet again in the evening i'll be publishing a third video it's a, it's a triple upload today so thank you so much for always supporting us i'll leave you listening to this important message